हेलो बच्चो सत श्री अकाल एंड नमस्ते फ्रॉम माई साइड सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वॉट हैपन वाई यू आर डांसिंग लाइक दिस Sharma ji's uncle got admission oh, really? in the IIT. So, uh, do you know even the full form of uh, what IIT is? It stands for Institute of Indian Technology. These students, uh, this happens here, right? Uh, whenever you are having the uh, half uh, information regarding anything. right so this kind of things always happen so it's good to go right whenever you are having a complete information then then and then you can move on for that specific thing right so yes this video is all about the complete information that we are going to provide on iit yes this is what we have heard about so this video includes the following sections right it includes the basic details the eligibility criteria how much marks are needed into the 12th boards right what are your future prospectus or what are the career opportunities you are getting well 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 so uh, students let's move on to the basic details regarding this iit jw first of all i want to tell you all uh, the full form of it it's indian institute of technology and it is conducting an examination right for uh, the, the, to have an admission in this kind of an iit right there is an examination that is named as jwe it stands for joint entrance examination right previously it was ai triple e all india engineering entrance examination now it is je mains it is having the two phases one that is je mains and second that is je advanced J mains examination it is obviously for an aspirants those who want admissions right in the NITs NITs NIT stands for National Institutes of Technology while those who want to have uh, th those who want to be those who have a dream of being an astronaut right those who have been dream for being an right for having an invention to solve the society problem they might have dream of right okay to become some might have dreamed of to become an engineer so in that case if you really want to have an admissions in this kind of institutions right you have to cross the je examinations right so the basic details include if you want admissions right into the computer engineering if you want admissions into the mechanical energy this kind of the technical courses all are listed here right or after the new education policy has been introduced by the government of india right now right iit is also offering some of the non technical courses right and the most important information for you all about it that whatever the degrees iits and nits they are offering they are recognized worldwide yes they are recognized worldwide so if you have as i said before if you had ever dreamed of for being an astronaut for being an engineer right for being in a master right for being an ethical hacker right to invent a technique or whatever you want to invent right to invent that specific right a uh, uh, thing okay or you if you have decided if you have the thing any technology into your mind that you want to move on right yes the iits and nits are the best approach and the first step right towards your fulfillment of your dream now the information about the pattern of the examinations and the total marks of it right if i'm talking about the j mains pattern then basically it is having two kind of sections the first section is having 20 questions right in each subject of physics chemistry and mathematics right 20 questions all are of the mcq types if you are attempting it as a correct then you will have your plus 4 marks and if you are attempting that question and you are getting wrong the negative marking will be of 1 if you are leaving this question the things will be as it is now talking about section 2 the section 2 of an examination it is having 10 question 
Previously, right, NTA didn't give any kind of uh, the information or NTA didn't give any uh, the optional questions in this kind of the paper. But, but, but in this year, right, there are some pattern changes in section B. We are having five optional questions. Section B contains the questions of all numeric values, right? And uh, among 10, you can attempt any five, right? So, uh, and this also happens into the CBT mode, right? As I, as I said before, into the chips. So, the total marks for the JE mains examination, right? It is of 300. Cutoff changes every year. So, this is what, right? Uh, the exam pattern of a JE mains examination. Total number of colleges. As I said, IIT, it stands for Indian Institute of technology so we are having total 23 iits in the entire nation and if i'm talking about the nits then we are having the 31 nits in which right you can get an admission and fulfill your dreams right so it's all about right appearing in j means examination and if you're getting qualified right if you're crossing up the cutoff right cutoff varies every year and if you are crossing up that specific cutoff right there are uh, chances to get admissions in this kind of institutions and yes obviously right your dreams will be better. so students the question lies behind right what is the minimum percentage requirement into the 12th boards to get admissions in this kind of the colleges Generally, in some of uh, the exceptional cases, it happens. The student might get right there crossing up the cutoff, but as of some reasons, they lag behind into the boards. No, it's not. <laughs> this is not going to be happen, and this this should not happen with you all. Why? Because the minimum eligibility criteria states that you should minimum score seventy five percent into the class twelve board. 75% into the class 12 board for the students those who are in general category and for the rest of the students the eligibility criteria is of 65% so with appearing in this kind of the examinations to get admissions in IITs and INITs you have to focus right on boards also so for that reason, the whatever number of the students, those who are appearing, those who are preparing for this kind of the examination, they used to prepare boards and J. They move on on the both boards simultaneously. And this is what every aspirant is doing. This is what every topper is doing. So this is what about the most important point of the eligibility criteria of the J examination. Now, the next point lies behind. Who is going to conduct that exam? Right? So, I must say, if I'm talking about J main examination, then, right, NTA. NTA, it's a, it stands for National Testing Agency. It is the conducting body for JE kind of competitive examinations. Right? So, if I'm talking about the J means then NTA is a conducting body and what about J advance, right? J advance is a specialized examination and right? if you are getting qualified into right uh, this J means then obviously you can move on for the J advance and in J advance obviously one of the every year right one of the IITs among all in entire nation right used to conduct that exam and they used to move out with the papers they used to right make all of those papers right so uh generally for mains nta is a conducting body and for advance right one of the iits that is selected and every the every year they used to right the, the things get changed so for now right this are uh, what the conducting bodies of this the j and mains and advanced kind of examining so uh, apart from right uh, the conducting body generally if to, we are talking about j mains right then previously it went on with the four attempts right students generally have four attempts the exam is always conducted into multiple shifts right 
exam is always conducted into the multiple shifts and students are having multiple attempts to score high and finally the end result is brought up by the normalization method right so uh, if i am talking about right behind besides the conducting body previous year it was uh, right, it went on into the four attempts this year it is going on right with the two attempts as you all know we are in the midst of the pandemic so things are changing rapidly it doesn't happens into the regular period but right now things are changing as because of this situation it might happen in the next year when j2023 is going to happen things might get changed but for now yes we are having the two attempts of j mains right and that also they are going to go that, that, that will go into the multiple checks so if anyhow if you are right crossing up right through these examinations and getting the uh, right admissions in iits and nits and what will be your career prospectus what will and what career opportunities you are going to have so i must say right from this college is right okay the mncs like rubric graviton ola uber samsung right this kind of company intel microsoft google right this kind of the companies are having the place the students are having the placements in this kind of the mncs so obviously after right uh, com completing your engineering if you're getting placements right in this kind of the companies at the very first attempt you can understand your future right and apart from being an engineer right there are also lots of career opportunities if you want to go on for the research right there are some programs related to it even iit also supports some of the integrated programs that are related to bsc mscs right mscs and phd depending on the each and every college each and every is having their own criteria and all of those criteria of this colleges are mentions on their official website so it is all about it is not all about your only appearing in this kind of examination no you can appear it you can cross it you can fulfill your dream and get the placements into the best companies right in the best mnc's of this entire world or you can say worldwide right of the entire world so this is a thing uh, so students uh, this was all about right uh, the the complete information about the iit means right j means in j uh, advance examinations from my side uh, hardly i hardly apologize if something is getting right uh, left okay so uh, i must say i will be waiting for all of your comments beneath the video i got right? the and complete information i got the complete finally, information the complete now i am going to suggest each of our this, this is rajit singh signing off from the desk bye bye sat sri akal and namaste from bye everyone stay at home stay safe stay healthy